Dr. D, he's talking. NASA Recovery Chief John Stonecipher, his deputy, and Ben James are on the elevator. There's always Dr. Stokin who leaped forward to pump their hands when they came out of the uh, helicopter, not this time. There you see a close-up of the new symbol. Apollo 8, Apollo 10, and Apollo 11. President Nixon seems genuinely moved by this moment. The yes, crew's getting out, three of them anyhow. They leave one man in the helicopter, uh, as they say, to ride the brakes. It's a rule on helicopters that you don't move a helicopter unless somebody's there with their foot on the brake in case it starts rolling toward the edge. Number three elevator will be leaving in one minute. And down here on the hangar deck, all's in readiness for the big moment. Number three elevator on the port side is still in the raised position. No, it's down now. Down now. I couldn't see from my point. It's now down, and uh, the tractor is being moved back to uh, haul the helicopter off the number two elevator and back here to uh, its position alongside the mobile quarantine facility. Dan still playing toyously up on the flight deck. President Nixon is still on the flag bridge. We expect he'll be coming down soon. Here comes the number 66 being hauled inboard from number two elevator very slowly by the tractor. The procedure is for the tractor to uh, pull it straight across the ships and it will then be uh, backed by the uh, tractor. So it's being pulled now with the nose forward in order to move it around in the correct position. There it goes. Now the uh, tail of uh, number 66 is pointing aft along the hangar deck. Astronauts still inside. They're holding the uh, tail back. This is the standard procedure oh. when the uh, helicopter is being. Dallas, the president, uh, we believe, has left the flag bridge. At least he's not out there leaning over any longer. Right. And the gaggle of photographers seems to be following uh, Inside. It's possible that the president's schedule at this point may uh, indicate some little departure from what had been uh, projected originally. Uh, we've been speculating all along that the president wouldn't just stay up there on the fly bridge uh, all this while, and he may move somewhere else on the ship. But he's not expected down here again for about 40 minutes. That will give Dr. Carpentier, the astronaut's physician, time to perform some uh, initial medical tests on the astronauts. But there's no doubt that uh, they're in good, good condition on the basis of what we've heard already. And after about 40 minutes, the president will come down here uh, to the hangar deck and will make that personal statement to the astronauts. It's quite possible that they will be able to say something to him because they'll be wearing uh, lavalier microphones around their necks, and uh, anything they say will be uh, carried by loudspeaker uh, to those of us gathered here on the hangar deck. Large numbers of sailors behind the lines uh, standing there uh, waiting to watch this historic moment, the first appearance of the astronauts uh, before any, uh, anybody but the swimmers and the uh, crew of number 66 helicopter. Dr. Don, Dr. Don Stalkin walking along the uh, blue path is the chief of the NASA recovery team on board, talking now with John Stonecipher, the assistant chief. Helicopter being moved slowly back here with the flight crew, the flight deck crew uh, in yellow jerseys. Man up the head about to blow the whistle for it to stop. The hatch is just 
just about in position. A few more feet. There it goes. That's it. Dr. Stalkin, Dr. Stone Cipher personally move the, the flight of wooden steps up to the uh, hatch on the uh, starboard side of the uh, helicopter. The astronauts emerged to take their bows. Ahead was a world tour, but the first to hail them were their own people. People who had an understandable surge of pride when the American flag was raised on the moon. Waving to the uh, crowd of cheering sailors, moving swiftly into the mobile quarantine facility, Dr. Carpentier following and closing the door. And the door closes. The astronauts are on board. They're in the mobile quarantine facility. The curtains have been drawn. All of them in fine shape, good condition, waving and smiling. You can see them smiling through their masks. Obviously overjoyed, jubilant to be back on board at the end of their historic mission, which saw Armstrong and Aldrin become the first men in history to set foot on the moon. The uh, tunnel is already in place, affixed to the door in the side of the mobile quarantine facility. And when the command module is brought back on board, it will be affixed to the uh, other end of the tunnel. And John Hirosaki, the NASA project engineer inside the mobile quarantine facility, will then be able to go through the tunnel and go back into the command module and to remove the lunar samples. Already, uh, the steps, the wooden steps, which they uh, used coming down from the helicopter are being sprayed with glutaraldehyde, a decontaminant solution. That's one of the uh, procedures established by NASA as a means of preventing contamination by any lunar viruses brought back, if, if any there are, brought back by the returning astronauts. Well, it was a big moment. It didn't last long. They're already going through the initial procedures inside the mobile quarantine facility. 